Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Lineage Break, a Grand Archive TCG podcast. I am your host, Cam. With me, as always, is Glue Man. Glue Man. <laughs> Every Steven. week it gets worse. <laughs> <laughs> so the important part about <laughs> about <laughs> doing a podcast, right? My favorite part. So this this is a, a long running thing. I'm a I'm a big podcast enjoyer myself, right? Which is why we're uh-huh, here. Uh-huh. I love I love me a podcast, right? And so there's several podcasts that I've watched in my youth. Uh, that every like you know uh, the co-host has a has a name, right? Mm-hmm. So I really like that. I'm glad I'm glad we got you on. Yeah, you know, no, no, I, I enjoy the glue, right. but um, it's like the the uh, the extra bits. But yeah, so this is my favorite part, right? Like <laughs> where we go deep enough that it's established, you know what what the the intro is. Correct. That I get to start fucking around. Yeah, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. But like every week, I'm just like he's just, you know. Last week was rough when you were like, he's gluing. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no. It was a few weeks ago that I, I said, he glues me to the table. <laughs> and that one really gets me. Oh, man. When, when I watched that one back, it really, really tickled me. So I, just, think, just to break this illusion, I do watch our full episodes every week. Oh, yeah. yeah you got to do it. <laughs> and I'm just like, I like disassociate because I hate listening to myself. Mm. So I disassociate and like, that's not me. Right, this is some just, other guys. These are just two oh, guys. That guy's that are great. Wa- yeah, I love the lineage break the podcast that doesn't feature me. So if you have any horse based glue puns to, uh, well, I think I missed it right because yeah. like you called me gluey last week and it's <laughs> right. like isn't that that kid show? <laughs> and I didn't want to say it on air, but you told me it was fine. Yeah, it's talking about the horses. So, so I should have just been glue? like, no, gluey is that show about the small horse child. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that'd be pretty good. Like if I had a horse, I would name it gluey for sure. That's rough. <laughs> funny. It is funny. It's funny. So if you have any uh, horse-based glue puns for us to call Steven on the show, you let us know. Leave them down in the comments below. I will use them, I promise. Yeah, he probably will. Uh, hey. Hey. Did you see some exciting news that came out this week? Dude, what up? Where are we starting? We got so many things to go over. I think we started at the top with the letter A. Where's the top? The... For ascent. Oh, okay. Well, there's lots of ascent things. Well, letter A. Uh, so we got the announcement for Ascent Taipei. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Congratulations, Taipei. We will not be there. Not be there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little little too close for me to get a expedited passport and buy a $1,000 flight to Taipei, even though that would would be sick. I would love to go to Taipei. I but. also would love to be at tai- in Taipei. But, yeah, so we got the official announcement. I mean, like, we knew it was coming. I, I think we had a we had a month on the schedule. For yeah. Taipei, but it is going to be June fifth through eighth. Is that correct, Stephen? I believe you are correct. And we also got the promo cards for it. So this is their second ascent in SEA. Mm-hmm. So this is going to be their their Gwendolyn Spirit of Wind uh, ascent. So we're very familiar with her. Mm-hmm. We also got the new uh, Top Thirty Two promo, which used to be Tide Diviner. It is now. Exercise curses, and a beautiful art uh, by one Han. A little bit, a little bit more playable, so that's nice. Yeah. Tide, Tide Diviners, I've seen played zero times the the top thirty two promo because Correct. that card sucks. But it used to be great. Yeah, all right. <laughs> it might be great again eventually. Maybe when uh, when Mill's back on the menu, when Nico is whoa, back whoa, whoa, on the whoa, menu. Whoa. Maybe mm. there's some down the line. Yeah, there's some wild mage deck. Uh, that casts spells out of your graveyard and you want to mill them all into the graveyard? Man, I hope not. That sounds toxic AF. I don't know, man. I'm just spitballing here. Uh, but yeah, it is super cute. And then the new entry promo that is replacing Hey Steam Messenger is a fireworks display. Weird that they chose fire twice. Mm. Is that weird? I think so. Mm. It's cringe to me. I was looking at the uh, at the Yeti event yesterday as I was watching the stream, which was lovely. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that event was, I believe, it was like 60%, 70% fire deck, so yeah. then the rest. So, you know, uh, fire's pretty good, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you know. As long as it's not wind, I guess. You playing, uh, you, you playing fire tomorrow? Uh, let's not talk about what I'm playing yeah, tomorrow, right. Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> it's cringe. Um, so, yeah, fireworks display is a new promo. Uh, we, we, we've gone both ways, right? We went, you know, Tide Diviner to Exercise Curses. 
a more playable card now, and we've gone Hasty Messenger to Fireworks Rick's Display. display. A which less is, uh, playable card. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where you're playing Fireworks Display, but I, I hope it's real. That yeah. sounds sick. But I just ooh. really want these, but I am not going to Taipei. So hopefully. Well, I believe it is official, maybe, mark my words, that that is also going to be the Day 2 promo at Ascent Worlds, I believe, is the okay. exercise curses. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, so I guess... We are not getting the fireworks display, though, right? Because there's Worlds has its own entry promo in, in Frostbind. Yeah. So I assume we're not getting fireworks display, but we are getting exercise curses is what I believe to be true. So you will have the chance to get yourself those beautiful exercise curses. I believe, actually, uh, in that article, there are two different versions of the exercise curse promo. There is the top 32 promo for Ascent as a singles event. Uh, but there is also the top 16 promo, which is assumingly for the team event, as the cut will be smaller. Correct. Um, so, yeah, you will be able to earn those. Path of Steel at Ascent Worlds. Speaking of paths of different sorts, you remember last week when we talked about that Path of Silver promo that we hadn't seen yet? Yeah, we've seen them now. We've seen it. Yeah. Woo. So it is a, another Lost Spirit, which is interesting, for the top eight Path of Silver promo. Which is kind of rough, because it's like, if you want to play Lost Spirit, for whatever reason, yeah. if you want to play the cute girl, now you got to choose. You better start collecting, right? Because mm. <laughs> it seems like we, this is what, our second variant? Yeah. So now we have a new Lost Spirit. Uh and I really like this one. Yeah, I think it's an interesting way to do it, that they sort of, they like split the difference, right? Where Path of Silver is a very new thing to the trading card game world. For anyone who is watching the show and, and has not gotten a chance to experience Path of Silver yet, as we've only had the one, which was back in Ascent, Wait, Houston. really? Yeah, this is going to be our second Path of Silver event. Interesting. Um Path of Silver is the collector event where you bring your collection and then on day one they announce like uh, set bonuses of cards that you can submit within a 50 card list and then that 50 card list scores you an amount of points and whoever has the most points wins. Um, which is a cool way to incentivize people to collect the game which is awesome. A new thing for the trading card game world. Um, so it's great that they have their own promos and there's like a whole you know event for the collectors but you know, at the end of the day, it is a trading card game, and the primary way to interact with the game is by playing the game. So I think that's why the Path of Silver promo is yet again a lost spirit. It seems like that's probably going to be the trend going forward. Like a cool collector card, but um, one that is, you know, not like super competitively playable because it's for the collectors. It's not so much for the for the players. Grinders. But she cute. Which is cool. So yeah, we got Priscilla. We'll throw her up on the screen in the edited podcast. Um, yeah, she's super cute. I actually like, like her a lot more than Morgan, I think. I agree. The word on the street. <clears throat> I don't know if you heard this. The word on the street from one TM32 Shinja is that there was several revisions of Priscilla because she was too lewd that they had to censor her several times. I can see it. And she's she's turned out quite tame, I think. Yeah. Got a little bit of that illegal cosplay under boob going on. But other than that, she's pretty pretty tame. In addition to Priscilla, we also got our new uh, Top X promo, uh, which was previously Inspiring Call, something that... I thought was a little bit strange about the inspiring call promo of the last path of silver is it was a little like it, it had a new art, which is cool, but it was just like a foil stamped card and didn't feel nearly as special as I thought it should. Um, and it looks like they have rectified that pretty, uh, um, did the stamp was the stamp different colors last time? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so it was just a stamp that said ascent Houston, um, top, I, I don't know. I think it was top 32, um, for each of the themas for that event. Uh, so the new promo is Into the Fray. So there is a regular foil, like, uh, not CSR version, which I believe does go to top 32. Uh, anyone that reaches 70,000 points. Gotcha. Um, but then 
There is a top eight CSR into the fray for some reason featuring Lorraine on this Guardian card. Yep. Um, Guardian can't have anything. <laughs> but it looks gorgeous. It, it, the art is phenomenal. Yeah. I love I love the colors. The, the art, the signature, everything looks great about it. However, I will be salty. I'm allowed to be. I'm going to get on my soapbox for once. Stop putting <laughs> warriors on Guardian cards. Let it have its own. That's the first time. But it could have been Rose. You could put Rose on this card. She was on the original card. I know. That's what mm. I'm saying. Mm. <laughs> Why does Lorraine uh, need to be on the Guardian card? She's a pretty girl. I don't know. She is a pretty girl, but so is Rose. They could have just chosen a different card if they wanted it to be Lorraine, right? Right. You could have Savage Slash if you wanted Lorraine. Mm. Well, you know, you want it to be something new, I assume, right? Yeah, no, I get it. An ALC card, and if you want to put Lorraine on an ALC card, you're not allowed to because there are no Warrior cards. Correct. Eh. It uh, looks very nice. It is beautiful, though. I, I won't disparage that the art is amazing and, uh, you know, the promo looks great. The CSR comes in three different colors for our three Themas. Mystique, Ferocity, and Valor. Which are different from the Ascent Houston Correct. ones. Yeah, so no no charm this time. Um, so, yeah, very cool. Steve and I will not be passive silvering ourselves as we're not not big collector people, unfortunately, but... Very happy for all of you to be fighting for those promos. I'm glad that they're they're not cleric cards, so I don't have to care. Yeah, yeah, care about them. But they're very nice. I, mean, I I hope all of you lovely people out there win. I'll be uh, d- donating my weed girls to to one Trenton to hope that he wins, so I can uh, hopefully he hold it over his head forever. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't forget. To turn it in. Yeah, that would be that would, you know that would be ridiculous. There's no way that that would ever happen. I think. Yeah, I don't think he's ever done that before. No. Not once. Can't imagine doing all that preparation, just not turning your list. You know, like carrying it all through the airport, going through TSA with all those binders. Yeah. And then just forgetting completely mm-hmm. to turn it in. So, uh, Worlds is swiftly approaching. We uh, we have regionals hot. On our heels, and everyone's sort of sort of locking in. We haven't gotten any like official announcement on um, like the world format yet or anything like that. Um, and I know a lot of people are prepping for Ascent Worlds. It's a little bit of a different preparation, you know, since the format is pretty impacted by the team format. So. We are uh, approaching, approaching the world's we event. We are indeed approaching the world event. Are you excited, Cam? I am excited. It's, I'm excited uh, to see all our friends. That's what I'm excited for. It's been a busy couple of weeks for us, and so uh, thankfully it's nice that it's been busy so we haven't I, – I, I feel like when we were on our way to Houston, um, it, it felt like I was uh, counting the minutes and – and hours until we got there because we didn't have a whole lot going on. Right. Um, it was all sort of, you know, pre the game existing. But there's so much going on, and, and I feel like all of my days are filled with Grand Archive stuff that um, that it hasn't felt like the way it's been too bad. So we're, we're just about, God. Like five weeks out? Not Six even, weeks? dude. It's the, it's the 19th today. Today's the nineteenth, right? Oh no, 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 that's next week. Today's the twelfth. Today's the twelfth. So, so yeah, so it's weeks. like it's like no, it's like four. No, nah, we'll just keep saying six. Just keep <laughs> it out. It's in fact, within the month. Oh, so much. And we have uh, have not yet seen a whole lot of uh, stuff about MRC, which is also uh, we, now five weeks away. We did get one tidbit. It might have been a double number, but that's fine. We got our yeah. We got our first first actual. Well, our our second actual. What was the Spoiler first? card. What was the first one? Hide and Bush. Oh, Hide and Bush. But we yeah. don't do we we don't know the text on that card yet. We do. Oh, do we? Yeah. Oh, it's the stealth gather, yep. Welcome back. It's happy to have you. Oh, uh, this is the second MRC spoiler we have. And it's uh, super exciting. It is the card so, looks broken. The card is really good. Wind, you're getting a buff. This is Fabril wins, everyone. Mm. Woo! Boop boop boo. It's gonna be right here. What's um what's the set code on that Fabril wins? Is that a Starter deck card? Nope, it is MRC, baby. Strange. Oh, I guess there are no starter decks, so yeah, it has to go somewhere. It's MRC one forty four. 
Maybe it's like a Sylvie card. Seems very odd to have it in the set proper. Yeah. So, like, maybe it's in the Sylvie deck. I mean, didn't we have any reprints in the... I thought we had a reprint in the... We did, but they were in the starter decks. They weren't in the actual set? I don't I think so. They were. It, it was... Scry of the Skies. Scry, oh, yeah. Scry of the Skies was in the set. Yeah, so... And um, the other one that is not in the set. Hey, look. Remember when I was talking about... Isn't that Rose? She cute. I don't know who it is. I think it's Rose. But she's on that that art. We we got a favorable wins. So it has that's a pretty cool. girl on it. It has a pretty girl on it's it. It's a straight upgrade from the original favorable wins, which does not have a pretty girl on it. They do it every time, dude. Every every time we get a new art, it's got it's got an anime girl on it. They really know. They mm-hmm. they understand who's buttering their bread, yeah, it's as a, it were. Yeah. So they get it. We're excited uh for this favorable wins. It's uh you know, the slightly worse than the Sylvie promo favorable wins, but for those of you that don't want to spend sixty dollars on yeah, well, your surely, commons, surely that is me. You get this nice, right? I'm gonna get these in foil. Of a girl. They're nice. Um, in other news, we also have uh, CSR rates for MRC and for the recollection. Mm-hmm. Uh, it looks like CSRs for MRC is still one in fifteen boxes. Yep. Uh, and the recollection is one in forty-eight recollections. So it's not too bad. Yeah, we so. um we we had the CSR rate for the booster set from the product sheet. This is the first time I believe that we've heard about the MRC rate. Um, it was I I think mentioned by Silidar at some point that they were going to be a little bit better than the starter decks, and and so this does reflect that as the starter deck CSRs are one in seventy-two. These yep. are one in forty-eight, one in forty-eight per I assume. So yep. one in forty-eight Sylvie yep. um, decks. Then it also the mentions CSR. that it's one in one forty four for the recollection packs. Right, that makes sense. So you can get one in the deck, and then no, 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 no. They're only in the packs. Oh, it's I, only I, so. Okay. Yeah, I think so they're just like extrapolating math. Okay, so it's know? not like a starter deck then. Right. What's okay. what's forty four? Is that what you said? It's one in forty yeah. four. Yeah. Or one in forty eight. One in forty eight. One in one forty four. Yeah. What's forty eight times three? Is that one hundred and forty four? Maybe. I'm assume, bad at math. I assume it's it is. really early. I just woke up. I assume it is or close. Uh, yes, it is. Hey, that's crazy. There's three booster packs. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, hey, you know that's pretty good. That's yeah, pretty right. good. It's okay. I mean, <laughs> it's not. I wouldn't say it's common, but it, it means that people like Trenton are gonna, you know, maybe not pull all their hair out when uh, they have to buy when them. they have to buy these. Yeah. Sylvie, CSR. Hopefully, I, get, I just high roll it and open the Sylvie uh, one and then. Uh, I'll give Trent a deal. Yeah, I guess it is. Um, it's a little bit strange compared to the starter decks in that, like, if you open a Lorraine starter deck, right, it's one in 72 Lorraine starter decks gets you a Lorraine CSR. But the way that these are set up, at least my impression of it, since they're in packs and the, the CSR slot is replaced by both the recollection CSRs, or, or however many there are, I, I assume there's, Minimum two, maybe there's Oh, more. so you we can open know. a Tristan yeah. and then open Sylvie in the Tristan one? Yeah, right. So uh, so it is actually one in 48, I, I'd assume, instead of one in 48 Sylvie decks. It's one in 48 decks um, because right. whichever one you get is kind of a crapshoot. So. Well, I'm buying one of each and not any else. So. so I guess it's one in, what is that, 96? Yeah. To, to get a specific one, theoretically. Right. It's not too bad. That's not too bad. You get the you get the bonus that you get to open open some boosty packs. I hope that something that I've always liked is games that like include booster packs in their starter decks. Right. And so I'd really like to see GA do that. I, I think that would be great. Yeah. To to make this the uh the norm going forward is maybe I don't know, maybe it's too much work to make them like individualized. Like, you know, if there's three new heroes in set five, um it might be too difficult to have them all have a booster pack that has their own right, like CSR slotted in, and so I guess maybe it feels bad from a starter deck standpoint if you open your booster pack and you get a CSR of not the hero that you open, but I don't know. I, I, I think that would be cool. I do like uh, getting getting a little something to open when you, uh, right. when you open your starter deck. Um, yeah. It's very cool information. Um, also, 
we got our first look at the completed recollection box for Sylvie, at least. Yeah, yeah. Roger posted it this morning. Um, assumingly, this is the the final one. We're we're, we're really coming up against it. Um, it's only a couple weeks until launch, so this is assumingly the final product. We haven't seen the inside of the Sylvie box yet, Correct. but but we have seen the inside of the of the Tristan box. But so yeah, we have the final product. Uh, Looks great. I was expecting like that pack for Magic type of cardboard box mm -hmm. but this looks really nice it looks like it's magnetized it is yeah that's awesome yeah it's like an actual like deck box mm -hmm. yeah it's um it's not like quite you know leather deck box territory but it is quite nice and i think uh like will be reused you right know? yeah you totally just use this as a, like your permanent yeah, yeah. deck box yeah yeah it's got the nice art on the inside it's very much like a double deck box like one of the grand archive right. double deck box just you know made out of cardboard not leather right right which is awesome yeah, yeah, so they're super nice. Um, we're very excited to have our little grubby paws on them. It's such a such like a reasonable price point, I think. And so I'm really hoping that this is a good way to onboard people. The the right. real hope is we like we like fingers crossed that these are fairly competitive out of the box. Right. Um and I think they can probably do that. Grand Archive's a pretty approachable game as far as monetary value goes. There's a couple of outliers. Wear Carter, but um, deep size. I think if they can make these feel like pretty good, pretty competitive out of the box, it'll be great for onboarding people in the game. Yeah. I always think about like the Magic Challenger decks, which were so good for that. I, I know so many people where their entry point into playing modern was that Black White Tokens Challenger deck from you know circa ten years ago. Yeah. Um, and so I really hope that we have that sort of product for Grand Archive. And it's nice to have a little bit of variety. Right. This is something that Flesh and Blood is doing now as well, like like almost alongside these recollection decks. But there's only one, which like feels a little bad. If you like come into the store, I want to play Flesh and Blood. Can I buy one of those starter decks? And you say, yeah, there's exactly one. I hope you like playing this big, stupid, green idiot. But um, for Grand Archive, it's nice to have a little bit of choice. And I, I I hope, and hopefully if any of the developers watch this, they will, you know, hear, hear our feedback. Not that we have any say, but, you know, feedback's good. Um, I would love to see these be a more regular thing. Yeah, like maybe, like, get them, like, once every block or whatever. If we want to yeah. consider, like, the MRC block as the two sets as, like, block or whatever. Right. Yeah, no, I, I think that would be great. Yeah, so if we get... Well, even, like, I don't know... I, it it depends um, how often you want to put out a product like this, but something that I think would have been great, which um, I, I remember I had typed into my survey answers on the, the survey on Omnidex, is um, I think that this product would be fantastic if it was released outside of the main set, which is something that I would like to see from Grand Archive. I think that their release cadence is really good. Um, I, I don't ever want anything to be like the Boogeyman, and release a full booster set every 60 days. It's too much. But uh, it would be nice to have something in the middle. I, I'm always a big fan of these like smaller supplemental products being like uh, something to bridge the gap between sets. So like we have set four, and uh, the next set is out in three months. But you know, six weeks after set four, you get something like the, the Recollection Dex is something to be excited about in the interim, shakes up the the meta a little bit. Um, I don't. I don't know how difficult it is to to get that stuff down the pipeline, but I do really think these are a great idea, and I would love to someday in the future be able to walk over to my case, you know, here at the store, and somebody's like, "Oh, I'm new to Grand Archive. What should I do?" And I say, "Well, there's these six recollection decks, and you you can choose which one, you know, you, you think you would like, or I guess there's seven. There's one for each class. It would be super cool to." Onboard people in, and of course, also help some. Uh, it's also a good some way heroes to, that need uh, some help to give the lineage break. Yeah, champions a uh, a home, right? Yeah, I like, think this is a, a great way to do Tristan without having to sort of like shoehorn her into the main set. Right, is give her this own you know recollection box, and assumingly most of the Umbra cards in MRC will, you know either be multi-class or non-class bonus, right? I would assume that we'll see a lot of the Umbra stuff be playable in Diana as well. Right. Um, but just obviously really whatever's in the, the recollection box will be specific to Tristan. Yeah, I'm really excited to play 
uh, Tristan as Umbra because I really like Umbra's mechanics and I hope that she like has her own unique feel but allow still allows you to play with the cursing and stuff. Yeah, I think that'd be really cool. Yeah, I haven't really looked at the pool to see which ones are sort of ranger specific. Yeah, and I assume Umbra. I assume a lot of the Umbra stuff will be uh, like also playable in Diana. Right. So we'll we'll see. Um, yeah, I think this would be a great home to put some of the other lineage break heroes. We really don't have <laughs> that many left now. It's I, I guess we have the new ones, right? right. That, that they haven't really had enough time to to shine. But we we have Mordred and Allen from the first set. I think it is. Unfortunately, they you know they get it. I get it. I think it is way more likely to see a certain someone get a level three before uh, Mordred and Allen because there has been a certain cadence to Lineage Break Heroes getting support mm -hmm. in that they're both female, you know. So Oh, I see. Yeah. I would I would be No way, boys. I would be way way more uh, uh next next uh recollection confirmed to be Nico. Yeah, Nico <laughs> probably, yeah. And another Sylvie because if I was a betting man, Nico, yeah. Arisana, obviously, because she needs the help. Um, we'll see. We don't know. <laughs> you know? Yeah, no, I'm kidding. Um and then you know. I, I guess we we assumingly will get Vanitas level three, right? He's a boy. He's he's a lineage break. He will assumingly get support. Who? Alan? No, Vanitas. Oh. Are you here with me? I am. Sorry. He's mentally absent, Steven. I've i I've been here this whole time. I can see when your brain stops working. Yeah, just you know? de you know. You, you gotta you gotta put I, that phone away. You're one of the one of those iPad generation kids. I where, you know, yeah. Just, I -sync just don't look bit. at your phone. Yeah. Well, we you know we had the stuff up on the phone. Oh, no. and, and then you started scrolling, and seeing <laughs> memes, and then and then the the, the monkey with the symbols and, and Steve's brain starts going. It's fine, it's fine, it's yeah. fine. We're, we're recalibrating back to the show. Um, but yeah, super exciting. We're right around the corner from Worlds, so pretty soon we're going to be hopefully talking about all that stuff. I guess we have like most of the information for Worlds already. We're yeah. just like we're sort of missing promo stuff, yeah. um, and we we don't have any spoilers. So spoiler season is starting soon, and In two weeks. I, you know, I I assume we we've got to see the the like promo stuff for Worlds pretty soon. But like, if I'm thinking back to like Ascent Ontario, I feel like we didn't see the deck box until like a couple of days before the event. Yeah. You know, Shinjo put out that strange video with the with the with the Tony deck box. I really want to know what the deck box is. I gotta. Oh, oh boy. man! I, I hold love, on. Let's get the soapbox out. <laughs> I, I, lo I love him to death, but I, I got a I got a strange tweet from Siladar this week that was at me, like at me on Twitter, which is at Lineage Break. You can go follow us on Twitter. Um, at Lineage Break Water Bottle, just like on Siladar's Twitter, not like a reply to anything. She's like, this is the thing that he tweeted unprompted at Lineage Break Water Bottle. It's just like so strange. <laughs> and I, I don't. He's been up for days from it. Yeah, it's, it's just keeping me up thinking about it. I uh, I assumed that that meant that it was going to be Ari San on the on the on the water bottle, but I was my my dreams were shot down. So my 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 current reigning theory about the the water bottle is that it's a lineage break water bottle, not us, but like it has the like lineage Tristan. break heroes on it, like Tristan or yeah. something or Nico or whatever. And so you keep you know, saying that those aren't lineage break. Those are, uh, in fact, they are un, un, unnamed. You're unnamed. right. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Uh, none of them are lineage. If, break I would like Steve. to point out this beautiful uh, quote that we have here. Yeah. None, none of them have the it printed on the card, but I would dare you to find anyone refer to these heroes as anything other than the lineage break heroes. Because right. that is in fact, exactly what they do. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I assume it's probably maybe Tristan on the water bottle would be cool. Yeah. I, I assume a lot of the stuff is going to be, you know, like Tristan, Tristan Sylvie yeah. themed, um, but you know, maybe not. We we still haven't seen the the deck box. I I don't think it's gonna be for me. I you know. hope it's for me. I hope it's Tristan. Yeah, I think it's most likely that it's it's Tristan. Um, would would be my guess if I was and, a betting man. And if that is the case, I will not use any other deck box. Maybe Diana. She's a she's a popular one. Yeah, maybe. That, that they're Diana. Yeah, maybe we'll see. I would be. I would honestly. I'd be shocked if the Ascent deck box wasn't one of the new champions. Yeah, I don't know because like it's like give Tony one, no one else gets one. Yeah, but nobody got one from <laughs> the first two sets. 
Yeah, we got the we got a Nia. Yeah, yeah, she's hot. Like, though. like so. so what, what is it? Like, give, could, you know what? Could be anything. Could be just a, give assassin. Genie, just, know? just give assassin support, please. Every deck box is assassin. Thanks. You a big assassin player? Excited to play Luxem Xander? Yeah, of course not. <laughs> all of the good ones, though, all of the good deck boxes are mm. assassin cards. All good. of the good deck boxes? You mean yeah. the one assassin card? There's two. Oh, the Parsnet. The Parsnet. Is that an assassin card? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, she yeah. is. Yeah. It's great. There's two of the good deck boxes. Uh, There's like four good deck boxes. There's like four deck boxes. Steve. I know. <laughs> you know, there's five, I think. Yeah. Yeah, the I don't Sylvie think one th- sucks, is what you're saying? The Sylvie one. The, it's not color. You open it up, it's, you can't really see it. Mm-hmm. And then no one likes Lorraine. I like that box. I like the color of that box. I don't own one. I it's like a nice uh, like baby blue color. Yeah, I like the color. Yeah. So yeah, we'll have to see. Um, I assume we're probably due for another um, another double box pretty soon, too. Parson that's been around for a while. Yeah. But those have already, always been sort of sporadic. Right. Because we, we haven't gotten a merch day with the Parsonet box, which is odd. Right. And it took forever to get the Merlin one. The Merlin one. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, very, very curious to see what it is. I, 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 I also right. hope that for once, merch day lands on a pay week for me. Mm-hmm. So I'm not broke and can afford to buy stuff. They do it on purpose. They, they don't want to put you in a, into a bad way. You know? They won't put me in a bad way. I'll just spend my <laughs> money on them instead of on video games. It's true. Um... But yeah, that's all the that's all the newsy news. Yeah. For the week. Um, there's a couple of things that are going on in Lineage Break Land mm-hmm. that uh, I can encourage you guys to go check out. Um, I just did a interview with one main deck Dan has a recording that came out yesterday. It's a great video. So we will leave the link for that down below in the description. Go check out Dan's channel, main deck, great dude. I. Uh, forgot to turn on my mic so i'm sorry that i sound a little bit bad and i'm sitting in front of a monitor so my face looks like a ghost <laughs> was not not my finest moment but uh dan and i had a good good conversation i got to work on the setup at home it's all of my fancy equipment is here we're using it you can see it in that one um so that's cool go check that out i'm also going to be um casting yeti weeklies this upcoming thursday if you're watching the show live Unfortunately, if you're not watching the show live, that was probably yesterday or something. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be doing that with the uh, lovely folks at Serene Balanced Productions um, next Thursday. So that's cool. Nice. Uh, we're also selling playmats. I don't know if you guys have heard. Uh, as of now, our video has come out for the playmat that we're selling. Thank you guys so much for your amazing response to our playmat. We have been uh, sales have been going very well. Um, so we are, we've already put in our order. So our number is locked in for our play mats. We had 60 of them made, um, and we are like almost out. So if you guys want a play mat, please make sure to reach out to us. You can reach out to us on, on discord, uh, myself as lineage break cam, Steve as lineage break, Steve, send us a DM. We will get you settled, get that play mat. We're doing, we're doing free pickup at worlds. So if you're going to be at worlds this year. And you want that sweet, sweet RE play map. Uh, so those have been going well. So thank you guys so much. Uh, I think I think that's about it. Is there anything else I missed, Stephen? Uh, Webway Games in Marlboro, Massachusetts will True. be hosting our... Uh, regional. ALC Regional. There we go. Uh, on April 20th. That's coming up. That's next week, it's folks. Next Saturday. So if you are in Ooh. the New England area or surrounding area, please come and play at the store. We would love to see you, and we will both be here. You come to beat Steve's ass. Yeah. I uh, I will be losing. You could be the one to beat me. You could be the winner. You can, you can crush Steve on your way to absolute victory. Correct. So the choice is yours. We are going to be going... To New Jersey regionals tomorrow. tomorrow. Cam this gets is, to play. Uh, I get to yeah. I, uh, I get to play. <laughs> um, yeah, this is uh, we, <laughs> a long time ago. We said we were going to film the podcast in the car on the way to New Jersey regionals. 
Thankfully, we're leaving the night before, so we don't have to worry about that. Correct. <laughs> Nonsense. So this is your podcast, but we are, yeah, we're going to be down in Jersey tomorrow. So if you guys are going to be in Jersey, make sure to say hello. Yeah, and that is at Final Turn Gaming. Yeah, that one in Clifton. In Clifton, New Jersey. I don't remember the street address. So it's I can't not, uh, not too bad to drive. It's going to yeah. be like three and a half hours, yeah. something like that. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to snuggle up in the back seat. Oh, it's me in the back? I don't know. Probably. Okay. Whatever. Cool. Elise is tall. She can, she can have the front All seat. three of us are tall, Cameron. Yeah. <laughs> I think she's the tallest. Is she? Yeah. Probably. That makes sense. So, I don't know. I just want to have an excuse to yeah. smooch in the back seat, you know? Let's I don't need an that. excuse. Well, you're not going to be doing it from the front seat, surely. I bet. That's, that's, <laughs> Challenge accepted. That's, that's tough. <laughs> you're going up and over the back, you know? Oh, yeah. Like uh, like Spider-Man? Oh, yeah. Am I Spider-Man or are you Spider-Man? Come on, I'm Kristen Dunn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. uh, so that's all we have for you guys this week. We will be back next, next week. Friday. Yep. Yeah, I do. I do that in my brain to make sure we don't have anything scheduled, and then inevitably we'll have something scheduled. Then I'll forget about it. But we'll be back next Friday on the on the eve of our yes. regional April nineteenth. We go live at noon every Friday. So, if you guys want to watch the podcast, we go live every every Friday noon Eastern Standard, Standard. Time. Allegedly, the previous week's uh, podcast will go up at two, 2 p.m. PM. Eastern Standard Time. I'm a little behind. We had a bit of a bit of a issue with one of the podcasts last night. So, yeah. but that's that's on me. So, yeah, technical issues. We'll uh, we'll get it worked out. You'll see you'll see some potties uh, here and there. Uh, so yeah. That's uh, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. We will see you next week. Bye, guys. Woo. Woo.